At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Liverpool, and they face Brentford. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of the 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Could play it in. Is it going to be? Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Well, wasted opportunity here. Would have been a decent chance, but offside the verdict. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander Arnold in the fullback positions. Thiago starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Oh, a goal for Liverpool! The first goal of this final. And how important could that be? As you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So the game has restarted. Liverpool in front. Johan <laughs> Wiesa. They've given it away. Encouraging move from Liverpool. Can he make it count? And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And Salah does the rest. He strikes it so cleanly. He hits it with power and accuracy. There was no stopping that. So the ball rolling again. 2-0. Johan Wiesa. And he really read that brilliantly. Fabinho. Elliot. Nunez. And return to Sala. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. And they get the ball rolling again. It does appear that Liverpool are just about out of sight. Johan Wiesa on the ball, Jensen. Da Silva. And still looking to get the shot off.
Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Darwin Nunez. It's with Fabinho. Liverpool in a position of menace. Brentford doing well to regain possession. Tony. On the ball, Jensen. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Timely intervention. Tony. Wisa has it. Jensen. Might really be able to trouble them here. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? And they could get one back here. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Who can they pick out? Struggling to get it away. Well, they can keep possession now. The cross is on. And they know they need to stop him. Could pull one back here. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Played over. A decisive clearance it was. Mbermo. Well, there we have it. We're at the halfway mark. So the second half is underway, and we're still reflecting on what was a dizzying performance by Liverpool in the first 45. Well, the supporters think it's on. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Da Silva. Mbermo. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And for the touchline for what will be a Brentford throw. So making the substitution now. Number 14, Jordan Henderson. Good looking sequence. Decent position. And he read it well defensively. Well, those stats don't lie. Liverpool haven't controlled the ball, but what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Yes, really good without the ball. And the all-around performance levels have been high. A good and fair challenge. And into the last 30 minutes now. Gakpo, well, a decent position for Liverpool to be in. 
He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Johan Wiesa. Pinnock. Well, they've given him too much space. Well, decent effort, but not troubling the keeper too much. Henderson. Henderson. Might be a chance here. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then the finish from Salah demonstrates his ability to make the right run at the right time. What a good goal. Defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. 20 minutes to go in this one. Johan Wiesa. Tony. On a pass that lacks quality. Nunez. And Liverpool couldn't hang on to it. Johan Wiesa. A sloppy pass. Nunez. Henderson. Thiago. And take it away. Virgil van Dijk here's Robertson teammates available flag up tight offside and they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game me on the ball Jensen are there to intercept Darwin Nunez intelligent threaded pass here this is Thiago and now Henderson we are going to have two additional minutes and the attempt just wide so unfortunate Shandon Baptiste and there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff.
There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. And really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.